Hello guys, this is Rich of TV and welcome back to my channel. But we fall strictly devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person or channel na napunta rito para ma-join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Rose Ann Villegas, Yuka Joe Official, Foreman's Work, Michael Aborita, Michelle Kim, Gusto Kita, Anne Abiar, Rain Visto, Hibanada Jocelyn, Diwata ng Katotohanan, It's Mommy Rose, Samat Sarin Vlog, July Blog 087, Vivilin Hinerali, Emily Mansalay, A Traveler, Kim Chu, Suti Ding Quadra, and Pamilyang Lagan Channel. Guys, isa na namang maulan na gabi dito sa amin, no? Maaga pa lang, umuulan na. So, in a way, rain would not hinder our devotional. It's still God's plan. Okay, let's start proceed to our devotional, guys. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you here is a simplified meeting that talaga natin, no? Okay, so let's open the Bible to 1 Samuel chapter 18, verses 1 to 4, and then we'll jump to chapter 19, Verses 1 to 6. Okay. This is about Saul's jealousy of David. Okay. First Samuel uh, chapter 18 verses 1 to 4 says, After David had finished talking with Saul, Jonathan became one in spirit with David, and he loved him as himself. That From that day, Saul kept, uh, kept David with him and did not let him return to his father's house and Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as himself Jonathan took off the robe he was wearing and gave it to David along with it along with his tunic and even his sword his bows and his belt amen so let's proceed to uh, chapter 19 verses 1 to 6 this is still Saul tries to kill David Saul told his son Jonathan and all attendants to kill David, but Jonathan was very fond of David and warned him, My father Saul is looking for a chance to kill you. Be on your guard tomorrow morning. Go into hiding and stay there. I will go out and stand with my father in the field where you are. I'll speak to him about you and will tell you what I find out. Jonathan spoke well of David to Saul his father and said to him, Let not the king do wrong to his servant David. He has not wronged you, and what he has done has benefited you greatly. He took his life in his hands when he killed the Philistines. The Lord won a great victory for all Israel, and you saw it and were glad. Why then? Would you do wrong to an innocent man like David by killing him for no reason? So listen to Jonathan and took this oath. As surely as the Lord lives, David will not be put to death. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, let's pray. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for the friendship of Jonathan and David, O oh God, that uh, the one who is an authority, Jonathan, O oh God, is the son of Saul protected his friend from danger of the evil plan of his father lord may we have may we found a friend like uh, david and jonathan okay a friend that would protect us also through prayer and even our oh god uh, bringing you up lord thank you that we can uh, really find it here even this one in uh our devotional thank you for sending me friends here na dito regular na nanonood na join sa devotional and i could consider myself as the jonathan of themselves because i am praying for them individually especially to those who drop their prayer request thank you for answering our prayer lord thank you lead us also to understand 
the word you're going to relieve for us this evening. Bless us all, O oh God. We open up our hearts, minds, body, soul, and spirit unto you, that we may truly understand your word. Yes, Lord, we commit all these things to you. We want to bring you all back, all the glories and the praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening, guys, is found in Proverbs 17, 17, and it says, A friend loves at all times. Wow, friends talaga. Okay, the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is True Friends. <clears throat> in high school, I had a sometimes friend. <laughs> we were buddies at our church, and we occasionally hung out together outside of school. But at school, it was a different story. If she met me by herself, she might say hello. But only if no one else was found. Realizing this, I really tried to gain her attention within a school walls. I know the limits of our friendship. We probably all experienced the pain of disappointingly one-sided or narrow friendship. But there's another kind of friendship, one that extends beyond all boundaries. It's the kind of friendship we have with kindred spirit who are committed in sharing life's journey with us. David and Jonathan were such friends. Jonathan was one in spirit with David and loved him as himself. Although Jonathan would have been next in line to rule after his father, Saul's death, he was loyal to David, God's chosen replacement. Jonathan even helped David to evade two of Saul's plot to kill him. Despite all odds, Jonathan and David remained friends, pointing to the truth of Proverbs. A friend loves at all times. Their faithful friendship also give us a glimpse of the loving relationship God has with us. Through friendship like theirs, our understanding of God's love is deepened. Amen and amen. Guys, nakikita ko talaga yung how Jonathan would... Uh, uh, yung makita natin na true friend siya talaga, no? Despite being the son of the king who is next in line, na gusto nung patayin ni Saul si David because of jealousy, but yet, Jonathan protected David, no? Di nga siya ang naging ano, next in line, but instead si David ang naging uh, king noon, no? But yet, una, Parang unang namatay si ano si Jonathan and then Jonathan has uh, yung asan na crippled pinahanap talaga ni David at pinatira sa palasyo no So yun guys no Di ba we are also looking for friends na like that na sana Lord I can find a friend who is like that but did you know na the members of our family could also be our friend Though they are members of our family, but yet, iba talaga yung position nila kasi members ng family, but we can make them friend also. Uh -huh. That's what I did when, uh, parang, na-notice ko, Lord, parang, well, we have buddies, no? Well, we have friends, we have, uh, everybody in uh, our area responsibility and elsewhere, and even the churches, no? But iba talaga if we're going to make our uh, family members as friends. Kasi yung care ma-develop doon, no? yung uh, unawaan sa isa't isa, concern sa isa't isa. Kaya I encourage us guys na to really make our family members our best friends. So, no uh, we will go together also. I'll consider you my friend. no You are my David and I am the Jonathan because I am praying for you. No? I could not protect you uh, physically kung ano man yan nangyayari sa inyo but I'm asking God's protection to be for you to be with you no? kaya ito uh, that's my rule uh, I'm always reminding you na I'm I'm really praying for you that's why if you have problems you can text me, chat me or drop your prayer request no? uh, gaya nung may nauna dito no? hindi pa nag-umpisa yung Premier ko andun na siya kasi gusto niya mag-drop ng prayer request. 
siguro nahihiya siya na i-drop dito. So, uh, maganda din yung strategy na niya na nauna siya at nag-drop siya ng prayer request niya. So, ni-screenshot ko yun and then I, I really did pray for her. No? Okay guys, let's now proceed to the two question. Who do you consider a true friend? Well, I have I have true friends, pero I'm really looking for a friend na magpipray din sa akin. There are those friends na prayer partners ko din, no? pero <laughs> yung minsan yung na-feel ko na yung prayer nila is patapaw. No? Gusto ko yung friend na who will earnestly pray for me. That's the friend I am looking for. And I found one, no? and I found one. So, I'm happy with that friend kasi uh, kung prayer partner mo siya at the same time friend mo siya, so concerned about you, no? he will earnestly or she will earnestly pray for you. No? Okay, so next question. How is it comforting to know that God is our truest friend? Yes, God is so concerned about us. No? Excited siya na makita natin niya tayo na magpe-pray na. Di ba tayo excited din tayo na makipag-usap sa friends natin? If we have problem, we immediately go to our friends, no? lalang lalo na sa mga youth. They will not tell their problems to their family members, their parents, but yet, they go to their friend and tell the problem. No? So, yun. Friend is so important. But let's make God as our truest friend. Because only God can understand everything in us. Okay, guys, let's now pray. Heavenly Father, we long for friends. Please open up doors to true, lasting, and God-centered friendship. Bless my viewers, so God, because they are my friends. As Lord, we commit these things to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, sa mga regular na pumupunta dito, I really consider you as friends. Di man tayo nagkita, but thanks God, there is YT, no? Na, uh, through YT, I gain friends, and that is you. Yes, guys, I am praying for you. Guys, sana na blast tayo sa devotional natin, no? Uh, let's uh, look for a friend na, hindi BI, ha? But, GI, genuine or good influence in a friend. Guys, if you are new to this channel, I would like to ask you to please hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell all so you'll be notified na it's already time for our devotional. Our devotional, guys, reminding you again, it's every 8 o'clock in the evening, Philippine times. Okay, guys, share nyo na rin yung link para ma-bless naman yung uh, friends nyo, yung family members nyo, and those people who are close to you. My friends, I'm praying for you. God bless us all because I know God will surely bless us ten times better. This is again Richard with TV. Kita-kita tayo muli at hanggang sa muli. Paalam!